St. Augustine, founded by the Spanish in 1565, still today has visible Spanish roots. You can dig through this charming city's history by visiting two significant 18th century buildings original to the Spanish occupation. Anyway, this family went to Cuba. The, the Gonzalez Alvarez house is the oldest in St. Augustine. It's part of the oldest house museum complex. We know it's not here any earlier than 1702 because that's when nearly every single structure in St. Augustine, with the exception of the Castillo, was burned to the ground. We know it was here by at least 1727, thanks to the records of the children here for our first family. In the first half of the 1700s, Tomas and Maria Gonzalez, her parents, and their 10 children built and lived in this modest home. The entire first floor has been restored to what the quality of life was back at the time. Just two rooms side by side, a coquina walls, and a tabby floor. Over the centuries, other families would cycle through, British, American, and Spanish once again, renovating the house according to the period and the family's affluence. As soon as you get to the second floor, it's all wooden plaster, much more in line with the English style of housing. The oldest house museum complex shows life as it was once in this poor town of La Florida, when tourism was just beginning. Not only do guests get the chance to have a guided tour inside the home, they would see both floors detailing history and families, but they also have a complete access to our museum section, our surrounding gardens, and the math gallery as well, all at their own pace. Just a few blocks away, built in 1798, St. Augustine's second Spanish period, is the Jimenez Facial House. Andre Jimenez had a grocery store and a tavern and a billiard room downstairs, so lots of people would be here. The Jimenez were a prominent family, and their home and business was a center point in town. Avali Street, right out in front of the house, is arguably the oldest European street in America. And they also built right on the street. There were zero lot lines during those periods. And the Spanish construction besides the coquina also includes the outside staircase going to the second floor. Archaeologists have found all kinds of artifacts in this property, from everyday pottery to the famous Caravaca cross, which you can still see here today. I'm wearing a Caravaca cross. It was from Spain, dated to about 1650. This is a replica. The original was found on the property here, so it's just another evidence of the Spanish here in St. Augustine making a living. Another great significant part of this building's history is that during the boarding house period, it was always owned and operated by single women. This was unusual in the 1800s. Usually a woman could not own a business, but if you were single or a widow, you could. The Jimenez children sold their home in 1821 after Florida became a U.S. territory. That is when the property began its long history in tourism, becoming one of St. Augustine's original B&Bs. <laughs> 